Today in our Getting Started series, we're going to talk about free resources available online. So the first and most important resource I would always recommend to civilians is the Sewing Academy website by uh, Elizabeth Stewart Clark. She makes patterns, but she also has something called the compendium up here. And if you click on it, you will find about 30 different free articles, patterns. Um, she talks about a little bit of everything, dressing boys, dressing girls, dressing infants, outerwear, ladies, where to sleep, how to eat, safety, toys, just you name it, it's on here. So read through pretty much every article and start seeping yourself in ideas and thoughts of what you can do in living history. The next resource from there I'm going to recommend is the Civil War Civilian Living History website. Again, all of these links are going to be in the description. On here, Annette talks about the whole broad, how to get started, what to wear, your layers, and the behind the scenes things. So on a similar topic, actual video series from Townsend's. I know Townsend's is more the muzzle loading earlier time period, but James Townsend and Sons has an amazing YouTube presence and they shot several hours worth of videos called Getting Started in Living History that really talks you through all the concepts, no matter what time period it is. These are all super long. I tend to play them while I'm hand sewing or cutting things out, uh, pause them in between and let them play and a uh, really interesting web series worth the time. From there, I would recommend getting into the specifics of dressing if you are a lady. And for that, the Civil War dress for ladies, is she, the Sheen ladies go through all the different layers with links to good resources, which is fabulous. Next resource is YouTube channels. Uh, Civil War Digital Digest has been out for years. They do mostly military topics, but they do civilian topics. They talk about lots of period clothing uh, originals, which is a great resource, along with holidays and the like. And make sure when you're on the channels that you look at their other channels that they recommend. You might find some really great gems. Now, other resources that you might want to think about to touch on topics you may have even not thought of. First one I would recommend is going to Ragged Soldier Sutlery website. They do period toys and books and the like. But if you click over on the Virginia's Veranda and then you click on the archives button, you will find an amazing list of articles that Virginia wrote. And these again talk on baskets and sewing and holidays and a whole bunch of fascinating topics and things that you haven't thought of that you need to know. From there, I would also suggest you click on the file section in your favorite Facebook groups. This is the closet, but there are other groups. Um, the files are a bit like the junk drawer. There's going to be some really fabulous stuff and some, my gosh, people were selling clothes three years ago, so completely unhelpful. But some gems in there, definitely worth looking at. The last resource I want to mention are blogs. I follow quite a few blogs um, and thoroughly enjoy them. I have a blog reader that uh, shows up and I can read the new ones or you can subscribe to them on email. And for our final resource, if you do not know how to sew or you consider yourself a rank beginner and need to brush up on your skills, I'd strongly suggest the Spoonflower page on the Ultimate Sewing Guide. So these are a couple of free resources that are out there to get you started. And in our next session, we are going to talk about paid resources or things you can buy. Thanks. Have a great day.